Hi. So the movie, the first movie I saw in my third day of the film fest where I saw 12 movies in three days is called Breakthrough. Um, I have a lot to say about this movie, so I'm going to be looking at my notes at a regular basis. Okay, so this is uh, the first 20th, 20th Century Fox film to be distributed by Walt Disney Motion Pictures. So this is a studio film, and it's one of those films that are going to be directed to a religious audience. So this is one of those movies where Jesus and God and, uh, you know, religion are present. Faith. I went to see it because it was in a movie fest. This is the story and this is this is all you need to know. This is the story of a 14 year old boy that should have died but didn't. Okay, this is based on true events and everyone looks at that event, at that particular story as a miracle. Okay, this is from real life. This is what I knew about this movie. And I knew that I was going to sit in a movie theater and have to fight off my prejudice because I have it okay I am NOT a religious person you need to know this about me so that you can understand my review I am NOT a religious person I am a spiritual person so I don't care what you call it I don't care if it's God if it's Allah if it's uh, Jehovah I don't care what you call it I believe in a superior being and I believe in prayer and I believe in that some rituals can maximize results and I believe in everything a Catholic or a Protestant or or a Mormon believes in what comes to a higher power but I don't care what you call it and what rituals you do and I do not discuss them okay so this is what you need to know about me I believe in miracles I believe in prayer I believe in a higher power I believe that you can access I believe that you don't need a um, middleman I believe in all of this but still I went to see this big studio movie about faith having to fight my prejudice because I don't like that that tone of, of Jesus did this and Jesus did that I mean your faith did this and your faith did that but yeah I believe there was a Jesus I believe you can call it Sananda I believe you can call it whatever you want um, so I sit in a movie theater ready to see a movie about a miracle and ready to fight my own prejudice about what you call what and, and about this this very um, a very defined hierarchy, if you will, of middleman. And um, well, I had a bunch of prejudices when I went into that movie theater. And it turns out I started crying in the first plot point, and I I think it was before the first plot point. I mean the the kid hadn't even fallen in the lake and I was crying. Okay. I I, I identified with with almost every character. And I identified with all the story and all the all, every little character I, I I totally get with where they were coming from I did this path myself okay from the fireman to the mother to the pastor I I've been there okay in my own faith in my own spiritual faith not religious faith but I've been there in every one of those shoes so I started crying from the first five minutes of the movie and I stopped after the movie was over because I totally identified with everyone's journey even the kid okay even the fireman even the the the, the pastor the father I, I totally identified myself with every one of those scenes in every one of those questions in every one of those attitudes in every one of those doubts in every one of those certainties and I'll tell you this what moved me the most is that if we all just did what we could and believed our own instincts we could live in a world like that where prayer actually works where people actually care about each other where we can help each other where miracles happen if you just believe in your own voice 
okay, in what you hear, in what you feel, in what you need to do, and if you're honest about it, okay, if you do that path of cleaning out the garbage and the noise, and you just listen to what is coming from yourself, what you truly believe, put down the mask, just do what you feel, and you can make miracles happen because God does talk to you. Call it God, call it Jehovah, call it whatever you want, call it a higher power, call it the energy, call it uh, uh, white brotherhood, call it whatever you want. There are middlemen, yes, but you have it within you to listen and make miracles happen. So. I, uh, there is one review in um, IMDB uh, that says, and the person liked the movie, uh, but it says just this. It says, you have to believe in divine intervention, intervention to be moved by this story. I disagree. You have to be open to the possibility that what you see with your own eyes is not all there is. That is all. Okay, and if you go see this movie and you fight your own prejudices and you just just be open to the possibility that that can happen because it did, whatever the explanation is, it did happen. Okay, so the, the places and the, the actors were prettier than the original, but it happened. So if you just accept that it happened and you go see this movie, you'll just be blown away. Okay, this is one of the best movies I've seen of this genre and I have seen more because as I said I have a spiritual path and I am interested in these themes and I've seen more. This is the best one I've seen. I don't know if it's for emotional reasons and if it's just because of the way I feel and because of the journey I made or if it's I think it's 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 one of the best period because that's what I've been reading okay it's one of the best of the genre but don't don't go to watch this movie because you are religious just go watch this movie because you are ready to admit that what you see may not be all there is okay and if you do that you'll be blown away okay just one little criticism I think that the movies is well crafted and divided and, and structured and all of that it has that declamatory tone sometimes of Jesus and God okay it has that tone so that's the one thing that I'm not particularly found of, fond of but you know the story is so powerful and so human and so well portrayed and, and so honest and so blunt the way that characters admit their own doubts and their own uh, limits and their own truths and their own it's so powerful it, it deals with so many issues of, of human faith and of human journey and of humanity just pure humanity that I was blown away by it as I said it was an emotional experience and that's that's what we look for in a movie so I absolutely incredibly recommend this movie breakthrough one hell of a movie okay powerful experience powerful movie experience go to the movies and have faith <laughs>